Hey guys, welcome to the DMX Show. I'm your host Shane, and today I want to show you guys a quick little hack uh, to enable free Wi-Fi tethering on your Motorola Droid Bionic. Uh, 4G is fast as lightning. There's just a few little things that I want to mention here before we get started. Be very careful with this hack. It is a violation of the terms of ser service of Verizon Wireless, and they can um, terminate your contract. And also just make note if you are not grandfathered into unlimited 4G and you're on one of the uh, 2 gigabyte or 5 gigabyte plans be very care careful because you could incur some overages very quickly on uh, this blazing fast 4G network once it's tethered to your computer. Uh, so let's go ahead and get started. Uh, you will need SQ Light Editor. You can grab that from the market for about $2.99. Uh, your phone does have to be rooted. I have a one-click root tutorial on the channel, so just go to the channel and check out that tutorial. Uh, and then install SQ Light Editor. Open that up. It's going to analyze the folders. Once it analyzes the folders and they populate, uh, you'll go down to Settings. Uh, setting storage and you will select the one with the tools there not the one with the gears but the one with the tools it says com.motorola.android.providers.settings select that then select settings.db then select settings and then go down here to menu press the menu button and select set filter and you're going to set the filter as check and select OK. Okay, and then you're looking for this entitlement check, 147 entitlement check. In the values, you will see a 1. Uh, right now it says 0 because I've already changed it. So you'll select that field, press the menu button, and you will edit the field, and you will change that value from a 1 to a 0. Uh, once you finish that, click Save. Okay, and then you will reboot your phone. Make sure you reboot your phone. If you don't reboot, uh, reboot your phone, it will not work. So turn it off and then just turn it back on. Before this hack, if you try to turn on the 3G hotspot, it will pop up a message asking you to uh, purchase the service for $29.99 a month. Um, and then, of course, after this, it will just go ahead and connect to the computer. So as soon as this boots back up, I'm going to show you guys how it works. And I'm going to go ahead and disconnect from my home network here so that we can get on this uh, Android Tether. Alright. So you'll scroll over to the mobile hotspot, select that. and select mobile hotspot and select OK and it'll pop up asking you to input um, to input a password because it has WPA2 uh, protection so we'll go ahead and connect to that hotspot from the computer and it'll be under Verizon Droid Bionic Of course, the first time you connect, it'll ask for it will ask for your password, and so we'll just close out of this and open up a page. Okay, at first it's going to tell you local only. Um, let's see. Okay, and then it will go ahead and connect. So we'll run a 
test at speed test.net just give it a few seconds to load up because it, it did that last time with me too it, it takes oh about 30 seconds to get the proper connection we'll do our speed test Because you're tethering, it does slow it down slightly, but it's still uh, quicker than 3G. You'll really notice the difference on the upload speed. All right, guys. So that is how you uh, have. That's how you enable free Wi-Fi tethering for your Droid Bionic. Uh, if you like this channel, subscribe. Make sure to follow me on Twitter at DroidModerX with an E not a three, and also check out DroidModerX.com backslash bionic for all the latest in ROMs, mods, and hacks for your Droid Bionic. Also check out droidmoderx.com for ROMs, mods, and hacks uh, for all Droid uh, devices. Thanks guys. Intoxicated world.